Good Monday morning. This Columbus Day, we are tracking Tropical Storm Michael, almost a hurricane and bringing a lot of rain, gusty winds to Cuba. It is a forecast to continue to move northward and max scenes was increased overnight to 70 miles an hour. And as it moves into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, category one likely later today, category two, possibly overnight. And we are going to be on the east side, so the dirty side, dealing with all that moisture uh, moving in across our area in the form of a gusty rain band. So yeah, expected to make landfall possibly as a major category three hurricane a late into Wednesday, possibly very early Thursday morning. Then it'll weaken to a tropical storm, push to the northeast across parts of Georgia. The Carolinas bringing some wet weather there, windy weather too. Now for us in the Keys, we're seeing the green indicating that lowest chance for significant tropical storm force winds, but purple shading indicating that across the panhandle, the Big Bend, that's when we're seeing the highest threat for those damaging gusty winds. Hurricane watches have been issued for those areas. Hurricane warning in place for western Cuba, Cancun under a tropical storm warning. Storm surge watch has been issued for parts of the Florida panhandle. The Big Bend stretching down into Tampa due to the fact that we could see storm surge up to 11 feet with Michael. So look at all this green, all that moisture that is already impacting our area in the form of fast moving showers. Although right now just a cloudy view from our Broward camera. Even Key West quieting down now, but still very breezy. Earlier we had some rain down in the lower keys. And now I'm just seeing some showers around Aventura, Pembroke Pines, Davie, also seeing a little bit of shower activity through Homestead, but the heaviest rain has been across the middle keys, especially in even parts of the upper keys, Island Marana Marathon getting drenched in spots. The wind, the other big story with this, as we're seeing a tight pressure gradient, 12, 25 mile an hour wind sustained, peak wind gusts as high as 31 to even 44 miles an hour. So throughout the day, it'll be windy to blustery at times. Low 80s in Broward and Dade County, 75 rain cool degrees in Marathon. 81 in Key West and highs will struggle to reach the upper 80s since we are going to see those clouds and those stormy periods with some gusty downpours. So gusts as high as 35 to 45. Obviously not a good boating day. Small craft advisory. It's going to be really rough and dangerous. Seas 5 to 7 choppy on the bays and not safe to go swimming. A dangerous high risk of rip currents. Also due to the king tides returning peaking tomorrow, minor coastal flooding will be possible. A coastal flood statement has been issued by the National Weather Service. So higher than normal tides, those onshore winds will push that water along the coast so we could see some of that coastal flooding along the typical areas tonight. Breezy showers around 79. Hang on to the umbrella of the rain gear the next few days. We're going to remain unsettled with all that deep tropical moisture associated with Michael passing to our west. Gusty storms will be likely and then we'll see breezy showers to end the week.